Hey, in this video, we're gonna talk about taxi techniques. All right, my name is Joe Munoz, coming to you here in this video for taxi techniques. Let's look at how specifically you're gonna work this tiller and also some proper techniques for you to utilize these rudder pedals. Now remember with your rudder pedals, you're gonna be utilizing rudder pedals on the straightaway taxis because you have approximately seven degrees left right on your rudder pedals. And your tiller is gonna give you up to 78 degrees left and right. So anything of course greater than a 70, seven degree turn, uh, seven degree turn, you're gonna to need to go with the tiller of 78 degrees. Now let's talk a little bit about proper utilization of the tiller and then also when to begin your turns because see commonly what you're gonna find or at least what we find as instructors in the sim, for somebody particularly that's never flown a jet before with a tiller, it's extremely sensitive and the last thing you wanna do in the sim is get nauseous by the swaying motion back and forth, number one. Number two, in the airplane, the last thing you wanna do is get everybody else nauseous, including yourself, by the swaying motion going back and forth. So let's talk about how to taxi properly. And the first thing, like I mentioned already, is that your rudder pedals are what we're gonna utilize for a turn of no more than about seven degrees. And if you need to go out any further than that into the area of about 78 degrees, out here you're gonna be utilizing your tiller. Now the tiller works much like a steering wheel. And the steering wheel in the car, the reason I say that is because when you rotate the tiller left or right, your nose wheel literally is gonna rotate at the same rate that you rotate this wheel. So if you go left and hold it left, the nose wheel, if you can imagine my hands a nose wheel, it's going to turn at the same rate that you're rotating this, and then as you release it back to neutral to go to neutral, and likewise, as you go to the right, it's gonna to go to the right. Just like driving a car, when you roll the wheel left, the wheels go left. When you roll the, roll the wheel to the right, they will go to the right. What we see commonly is flight crew taxiing with quick and sharp inputs like this, which ultimately lead to having your nose wheel kind of uh, aggressively turn and go back to a neutral position. And this jerking motion, if you will, is what actually causes uh, or brings upon the nausea because the airplane starts to sway and in the case of the simulator, the simulator starts to sway. So utilize the tiller like you're driving a car whereby you input a smooth input, release it smoothly and then likewise go the opposite direction. Everything is a very smooth, constant input. Now, something else to note, particularly for those of you that are flying something where the nose wheel was always in front of you. I'm talking King Airs here, light GA style airplanes. If you haven't flown a transport category jet before, you should know that the nose wheel is behind you. So when you're making your turn onto taxiways, that's crucial for you to understand that for the simple reason, okay, that sometimes your turns, particularly 90 degree turns lining up on the runway are not going to be when you would actually expect them to be. So that, let's look, take a look at this, okay, let's say you're turning on onto the runway here, here's your runway over here, okay, I guess these thousand foot marks will be probably further down here, right, and you're turning on and the objective here, what you're going to need to do is you're gonna actually pass the center line. You've probably noticed this if you've been flying as a passenger before in a transport category jet. You're gonna pass the center line as you roll out onto the runway and then smoothly come in with tiller left or right, depending upon direction of lineup, right? And the time when you're going to initiate this turn onto the center line is when the center line of either the taxiway or the runway is essentially passing right in front of your shoulder. So if you're looking from the side here, let's say I'm taxiing the aircraft here, we're rolling out onto the runway or the taxiway, I'm looking for the center line to be right in front of my shoulder. As soon as I see it approaching my shoulder, I begin inputting left or right tiller input. Again, it's very constant, it's very smooth, and you nat naturally allow it to kind of come back to a neutral position. What we don't want to do is jerk it, drive it like a car, and go smooth so that you don't end up having everybody in the first class cabin spilling their drinks everywhere. All right, we'll see you in the next video. Hopefully you found value in this, and if you need to go back, pause, play, and review, please do so, and we'll catch you in the next briefing segment.